Hello and welcome to a Visual Basic tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can use sprites to create an animation. Now in this video I'll be using sprites that I have just spent the past like 20 minutes creating or just cropping it. I didn't make the sprites myself, I got them off the internet. I will leave a uh, zip file download in the description to get the sprites that I'm using in this video individually cut up to make it easier so you guys don't have to make your own sprites. But um, anyways. Uh, if you guys want to download the pause video and insert those into your uh, properties, which I'll show you how to do in case you don't know. And uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. But anyways, for those of you who don't know how to do that, I'll show you. So you click on Project, Properties, and then you go to your Resources, and then you want to add an existing file. And I saved mine under a folder on my D drive called Animation and I have all of these sprites here. So I am going to import all these. Now I really quickly cropped these so I don't know they might be a little off but you guys can use your own sprites for this and then you exit that and then you say yes you'd like to save it. So now as you can see all of our sprites are in here and they are ready to be used. So the, we actually only need one of them to begin with. So we just need a picture box and I'm just gonna go ahead and call this pick bird because I am making an animation of a bird so pick bird and then pick bird is going to be we're gonna say stretch image for the size mode and we're going to choose an image and then we'll just choose bird one so it's not the cleanest image ever because I didn't use Photoshop, I used Paint.net, so I couldn't clean it up or anything. I'm sure I could have if I just looked up how to do it, but uh, didn't really have that much time to do it. So this is good. So now, if we run this, all we'd see is just this image. So how do we incorporate all of these? Well, I'll show you how to do that. So what you want to do is we want to add a timer for now, and we want to call this TMR animation so just add that timer in there and then go ahead and double click on that timer and actually above the timer we want to create a global variable we want to dim bird count as an integer equal to one and then under our tmr animation tick we want to say select case bird count and we want to say case one then in the first case we want to say pick bird dot image is equal to my dot resources dot bird one and then and then we also want to increment the value of bird count so bird count plus equals one so that way it'll move on to the next case so then case two we can actually just keep on copying and pasting this stuff so bird two it'll equal bird two and then case three will equal bird three and then case four will equal bird four and so on let me just quickly do this we are going until eleven so five six seven oops don't want to change that seven Eight, nine, change both nines, ten, maybe that's ten, and finally on uh, actually eleven, we can actually still keep this. And then the fat last one that I use is called bird last. And on bird last, we want to reset bird count to equal one so that way it will keep looping through this because bird count will be being reset every time this will be running to whatever interval we set this timer at. I'm just gonna leave it at its default of 100 so then the last thing we have to do is tmr animation dot start so that way it will start and so now if we go ahead and run this you'll see that our bird is flying and it's a pretty uh, bad animation. I know I didn't have time to 
get all of the details of it correct or the uh, animation but if you guys use like your own sprite sheets and your own uh, animations and your own amounts if you used a lot of sprites for one character obviously it would look a lot better than just using 12 but um, yeah so this is pretty much it on how to make a uh, animation in Visual Basic I will leave all the source code down in the description as usual um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and see you next time